Chapin and Donald Cerrone. And we are underway at United Center here in Chicago, Illinois. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. Whoa! Oh! Huge right hand! His opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some thrills with this ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Cerrone gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Gotta shore up the defense here, though. Whoa! Nice liver shot lands. He needs to start looking to finish now. Nice liver shot lands. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high level grappler. You don't see that very often. Very tricky to throw that by Oh, nice strike landed there by Cerrone. Couple of chins here being tested early. Well, eventually you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end of this They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counter as we go forward. Oh! jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. Nice job staying busy here in the clinch. 35 total strikes have landed for Donald Cerrone. Effective punch there by Cowboy Cerrone. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard. He's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, big elbow. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Well, he gets up again here, but he looks hurt. Oh, these are some impactful knees he is throwing, and I guess until his opponent adjusts, might as well keep throwing them. He's going to keep going to the well. Why would he change it? His opponent has not been able to figure out these knees. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how, how good that feels to get kicked like that. Johnny does. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. So a crowd-pleasing approach for him here in round one. He has landed early, he has landed often, and this is really the aggressive approach that Dana White and the match makes.
It was placed perfectly, and now he's got his opponent hurt. The way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. So there he is. Now we go inside the octagon. All right, coming up next, what should be a good lightweight clash between Conor McGregor and Dustin Poirier. He's finally gotten it, and he had to really claw and scratch to get back to his position. Connor disposed of him very quickly in the first fight. Dustin feels as though he's done everything necessary to change the outcome in the second attempt. Oh, single call tie here. His opponent got him in the clinch. He needs to break away and get back to his range because he's taking punch after punch from his clinch position. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Oh! oh! That's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a... Oh! He's a trouble. He's hurt bad. All right, so one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl here, DC. It's great for the fans. Not necessarily for the gas tank if this thing goes much longer. Not great for the gas tank and not good for the old noggin. You can't shot a double leg. Oh, he slams him to the ground. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground ball combinations. Good work from the top here by Dustin Poole. Trying to recover from the guard there. Oh, wow, that happened quickly. Oh, good entry there to take the fight to the grappling realm. Now we'll see what he can do from here, champ. This is exactly where he wants to be. Look for him to try to use ground and pound to open up submission opportunities. 34 total strikes have landed for Dustin Poirier. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being 
busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Nice job by Dustin Poirier there. Sticks the target. Oh, he catches the leg there and then works it into a takedown. High-level mixed martial arts there. Well, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Gets up again here, but hurting. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. Watch the ability to land anywhere. Just missed with the left there. Big power shot there. Under two minutes now to go in the opening round. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Back and forth we go! Well, that one should leave a mark. Outstanding leg kick employed there by Poirier. Not only will this affect his ability to stand, but he can't really set down on his punches and he won't generate the power that he normally generates because he can't really get heavy on his leg. Big call for punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbows tuck to the ribs. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to take out that thing. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. That was a jab. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Over and over, he landed a big body kick. He blocks the punch. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. All right, stacking him up here, keeping the pressure on. I know you guys do a lot of this training with your jiu-jitsu coach there in San Jose. Oh, absolutely, but it's a difference. If your feet are on a hip, it's a problem. So we shove them through the middle. We shove them through the middle so that our legs can be what controls your feet. Right. We're not using our hands. I'm not using my hands. I'm using my legs to just kind of wheel and deal you from side to side. Then my upper body is free to punch. If you get your feet on my hips, you're out. Right. You may as well just kick away. Never nine.